Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayna and I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. So if you are into that sort of thing, click on that subscribe button down below. And if you like these types of videos, make sure to hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, um, cause that's really important on YouTube. And if you'd like to be notified every time I do upload, um, you can hit that little bell notification and it will let you know um, every time I upload a video. So. I hope y'all are doing great. It's almost the holidays. Next week is, or this week is Thanksgiving. Ah, and um, welcome to the Hot Mess Express, y'all. This is the Hot Mess Express. And that is because I officially have a toddler that I chase around all day long that rubs snot all over me and um, tries to bite me because he's teething. We're learning to not do that. and. Um, scratch and pull my face and my everything on me and uh, we're learning to be gentle right now so uh, yeah that is where I am right now so um, just bear with this hot mess thanks <laughs> okay so today's video um, is actually a requested video from a subscriber that I had gotten um, and um, I'm not sure I can't remember um, who it was but she had commented um, when I kind of shown a glimpse of this bag um, in one of my other videos, I think, recently. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and try to get this done before the holidays. I know it's going to get harder and harder around the holidays to do videos. And it's kind of crazy that I've almost been doing YouTube videos for a year now. So um, I, I really enjoy doing it. Um, I've always wanted to do it. And I'm so glad that I'm getting to do it now. So the bag, let me grab it, in question today is the Marc Jacobs pillow bag. And this is in the color sage green. And she is absolutely beautiful. I love this bag so much. I love how it's understated. The only label you're gonna find is right here. This It's a leather tab that says the Marc Jacobs. And the best part about this bag is this mushy, crink, crinkly, pillow-like leather. This bag is exactly what it is called, the pillow bag. Now, I probably wouldn't lay on this. Maybe if I was in the airport and I had this, maybe I actually would lay on this, but probably not. Um, but it is the most wrinkly, smushy, I hope I'm doing this justice, um, soft, like feathery leather. It is so light. Um, and I just love it so much. As soon as I saw this, and I feel like no one talks about this bag. There's also a mini size, and I'll put a picture um, up here of it. It's a little bit smaller. This is the regular size pillow bag. But it's so, I feel like it should be talked about more. Like, I don't know. It's just so nice and just so luxurious, it feels like. It has a great price point. Um, and, I, and you can actually find these on sale, too. Um, for, for a really good price too. Um, but anyway, to get into it, I love it. I'll try to do a thumbnail. <laughs> All right. So my phone cut me off. I think I'm running out of storage space. I really need to upgrade to a bigger gigabyte size than what I have. Okay. So third time is a charm. It keeps cutting me off. So I'm going to probably do this rather quickly. So let's get into the measurements of the pillow bag. So I have them written down here in my trusty agenda here. So I'm just gonna read them off. The base is 10.5 inches. The height is seven inches. Width is three inches. The strap drop, um, which just this short strap drop here um, is 11 inches long. And then it comes with a crossbody strap that can go to 21 inches long. And I will, show you that um, in just a few minutes. So yeah, um, this is a really nice quality. Um, it's very Chanel, like um, the leather goes through the chain, if you can see that, which I love, love that. Um, and so it has this really nice um, pocket on the back and I will say this is um, like magnetic. So you can, you can, hear that too. It's super nice. I love to keep my phone in this pocket. Um, it's really nice. It goes 
all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It's super de deep. So you could put like your lip product for the day or and I usually slide my phone in here because it's super, super easy access. So um, this bag is again with the mushy crinkly leather. I love that so much. And it kind of goes with my holiday nails. I don't know if you can tell that's like a green iridescent. Anyway, I'll talk about those at the end of the video. But this is very, um, this is a flat bag. So it's like very, it reminds me of the Pochette Matisse. Um, Cause it just flops open like that. And as you can see, got all my stuff down in there. This is a black like textile lining. It's super nice, very high quality very nice very and it's wipeable too so if you were to like spill anything on it it'd be easy to wipe also um with this bag you can fit a lot in it there's a lot of give and take with it um because it is mushy so these just like the pochette matisse too um kind of it kind of expands as you fill it and this is also a magnet so all you have to do is you're it's closed I think that is such a cool feature. Very easy. I pay for something, put my wallet back in, bam, I'm done. So it's super, super nice. This is the hardware, silver hardware on this. Very, very beautiful. Um, yeah, so let's go into what fits in here. So if you open it up, I gave you that. There's one pocket right here in the back. And it does go down um, pretty deep. And what I usually keep in there is my wallet that I'm using because it's just super easy to reach for there. I know where it is at all times. So that is what I keep down in that little pocket there. I'm trying to set everything over here. <laughs> um, and then I'll just, okay, we'll just randomly pull out. I've got my business cards in here with my key fob. This has really not, put that down there, changed as much what I keep in my bag. Again, round coin purse, got my change in there. I've got some wet ones in there. I've got my mini pochette in there. Love this, favorite SLG. Um, I've got hand sanitizer, of course. Also hand lotion, can't leave home without it. My um, hands get so dry during this time of year and it's already starting to happen. So that's that. And then I have this cool little thing, which I've talked about before. It's by Revlon. It's an oil blotting, um, like stone instead of using the, um, oil blotting sheets. You just roll this on your face and it gets rid of all your excess oils. And I actually really need to do that now, but, um, this is really great. Love that. Then I have some Orbit gum. This is the Sweet Mint gum. Love it. Awesome. And some tissues. And that is it. And that is quite a lot. And also, I just want to show that if you have the PM agenda, it also fits down in there. No problem. And then just close it. Perfect. It's just so easy. Like I said, I feel like this bag should be talked about more and there's really not a lot of reviews on it all and it comes in a variety of colors um i finally got a colored bag i always get black if it's colored or not lv monogram we all know i love it but um this is my like a my first colored bag and can we just i mean appreciate that i mean it's just so beautiful and so soft and it just feels so cool. It's very, very unique. I'm trying to, I'll try to get up close with the leather. I'm just going to block myself out and let you see the texture of it. I don't know if you can tell that. I hope you can see it really well. But yeah, I just think this bag is so beautiful. And I've actually been using it a lot here lately. This sage green color, I'm not sure if you can get this color anymore. Um, but it was perfect. I mean, it's still a good neutral can still wear it with a lot like even with this rust tee I mean I could wear it with it too but yes I love it so so much so let me show you um it did come in this dust bag D Mark Jacobs 
And then I wanted to show you the crossbody strap that comes with it. I just have it rolled up in the dust bag, but it's kind of got that Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini, or they have it on some of their other backpacks. Um, the little nubs that go through these holes. You can see that. Like I said, this can be adjusted to 21 inches long and you just hook it on the sides of the bag where um, the chain is, is attached. Sorry, let me just hook that on really quick so you can see it. And get that on there. Wow, that pressure. It's like when you're trying to do something and you can't on camera and you can't get it done. There we go. And you can leave this chain hanging out um, for like, dec I guess, decoration if you wanted to. Um, but I really like the fact that you can take the chain, which I would have to take it up this way because just a second here. So you could take this chain and just stick it down in the bag if you didn't want it hanging out, if you're just using crossbody. And so there it is down in the bag and just shut the bag. And then there it is. It's you could It becomes a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. And I'll show y'all how it looks on me, the size of it. The mini is like almost that much cut off again. I'll put a picture of it up in the corner there. But yeah, I love this bag so much. So I appreciate the person that asked me to do the review because as, like I said, as I started looking, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of reviews on this. And I can't stress enough how understated I think this is, that it should be talked about more. It really, really should. So comment down below if you have any other questions that I didn't um, answer on this bag. I hope that this review did it justice um but I, I again absolutely love it and also i wanted to point out um the details of these little clasp here i don't know if you can see that or not but it does say mark jacobs and the quality of mark jacobs is so good you know I, I remember when he was at louis vuitton designing and he was my favorite designer there i liked it almost like the design so much better back then when he was designing but anyways I absolutely love this bag I'll show it one more time and then I'll stop talking about it <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching this video um I wanted to mention my again my nails these are red aspen nail dashes and oh man this is cute right here all the mascara under my eyes hashtag hot mess express again um hey keeping it real <laughs> um red aspen nail dashes and i'll put the link to shop these um i've been selling them but it's not they don't just sell these nail dashes there's also cosmetics tanning drops body lotion you name it it's just a women owned company and i absolutely love it so much um but i love these F takes 15 minutes if that to do these half the cost of a nail salon um, and I, I highly recommend this color is called deck the halls with boughs of holly, obviously. And I, it's that iridescent green. I love them, love them so much. And then I did want to point out some jewelry today that I am at least wearing jewelry. I've got these, um, stud earrings, um, by Sabika that I really, really love. They're like this, like copper, it's perfect for fall copper color. I love it, love it, love it. And then I've got this cute little rose gold uh, baby cross necklace. I love it so much. You can see it. And then I've got my love band on and then an initial ring and a wedding set. And then um, a ring that has my son's name on it. And then I'm also wearing um, this watch is one of my favorites from Daniel Wellington. And then I am wearing my Pandora bracelet. So that is jewelry today. Again, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Also, go and follow me on Instagram. It's Style with Shayna over there. I have highlights on fashion, beauty, you name it. I'm also on stories a lot over there sharing my life, my family, 
good funds, um, a lot of Tennessee volunteers because I am a I am a Vols fan. Go Big Orange. Um, but I do um, have a lot of great stuff over there on Instagram as well. So thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.